Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed your glory to all nations. God of power and might, wisdom and justice. To you, authority is rightly administered. Laws are enacted and judgment is decreed. Let the light of your divine wisdom direct the deliberations of cabinet and shine forth in all the proceedings and laws framed for our rule and government. May they seek to preserve peace, promote national happiness, and continue to bring us the blessings of liberty and equality. We ask this for Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to read this one little passage of scripture there. I think it's pertinent for our verse from 1 Kings. It's Solomon's dream. The king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there. Since that was the greatest of the high places, Solomon offered a thousand holocausts on that altar. At Gibeon, God appeared in a dream to Solomon during the night. God said, ask what you would like me to give you. Solomon replied, you showed great kindness to your servant David, my father, when he lived his life before you in faithfulness and justice and integrity of heart. You have continued this greatness towards me by allowing a son of his to sit on his throne. Now, my God, you have made your servant king in succession to my father, but I am very young, unskilled in leadership. Your servant finds himself in the midst of this people of yours that you have chosen, a people so many in number cannot be counted. Give your servant a heart to understand how to discern between good and evil, for who could govern this people of yours that is so great? It pleased God that Solomon should have asked for this. Since you've asked for this, God said, and not asked for long life for yourself or riches or the lives of your enemies, but have asked for discerning judgment for yourself. Here and now, I do what you ask. I give you a heart wise and true, as none before you has ever had, and none will ever have after you. What you've not asked, I give you to. Such riches and glories as no other king ever had. And I will give you a long life if you follow my ways, keep my laws and commandments, as your father David did. The word of the Lord. Oh God. God of my fathers, Lord of mercy, you have made all things by your word. And by your wisdom of established man to rule the creatures produced by you. To govern the world in holiness and justice, and to render judgment in integrity of heart. Give me wisdom, the attendant at your throne, and reject me not from among your children. For I am your servant, the son of your handmaid, a man weak and short lived, and lacking in comprehension of judgment and laws. Indeed, though one be perfect among the sons of men, if wisdom who comes from you be not of him, he shall be held in no esteem. Now, if he is wisdom, who knows your words, and was present when you made the word, who understands what is pleasing in your eyes, and what is conformable to your command? Send a fall from the holy heavens and from your glorious throne dispatcher, that she may be with me and walk with me, that I may know what is your pleasure. For she knows and understands all things, and she will guide me directly in my affairs and safeguard me by her blood. We pray in the Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Nous devons nous remercier, nous devons nous glorifier. J'ai des bénédictions à ce richeau, vous choisissez pour servir le peuple. Guidez-vous, par la sagesse, par le tout ce que vous avez pour servir le pays. Je vous prie à vous, Father. Your Son Jesus, in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord Amen. bless you and your deliberation. Ah, <laughs> 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 okay.